All right, guys, I just got home from the Tampa Repticon. I didn't go there to pick up any animals, but I did get a couple of things. So I want to show you real quick what I got at this amazing reptile show. And stay tuned because I did a full walkthrough of the show. Those videos are going to be coming up shortly. Full video, multiple parts, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I just got back from the Tampa Repticon. I did a nice walk through, met a lot of good people, saw a lot of amazing reptiles. Now I just want to do a quick video showing you guys what I got at the show. I didn't pick up a lot, but I picked up a couple of things that I want to show you. Now I had a nice coffee this morning. I had a nice coffee driving back up here just to keep me awake. So I still have a little caffeine in my blood. So let's do this video. So for those of you who normally watch my channel, you know I have a lot of amazing corn snakes. And Lee Abbott is one of my favorite corn snake breeders. So I'm here at Tampa at his table. In my walkthrough video, I display all of his animals that he brought to the show. I even ask him a couple of questions but I picked out a beautiful snake from him today. So let me show you. All right guys, so this is the only snake that I picked up at the show. As you know, I have a large collection and I'm not looking to really get anything unless it's exceptional or something I really need. Now, this is actually a male orchid het blood red I picked up from Lee Abbott. Give you guys a nice close-up look exactly how that guy looks he's just amazing looking really nice colors now i have a female that i'll show you she's a sun-kissed het lavender from vms herps so she'll pair perfectly with him i didn't have a male for her i want to produce orchids with her so now i have the tools to do that this male is just amazing and from quality, quality stock. Just a little guy, but the colors are just popping. So at the show, I met a gentleman who has some amazing rodents. I breed my own on a very small scale and I wanted to introduce some new things into my rodent breeding program so I want to try out these ASF rats I've heard some amazing things about them I also heard some bad things about them depends on the strand you get so I'm gonna test my luck with these as well introduce some new mice into the collection definitely need to beef up the breeding program all right guys so this is not a snake this is one of the other things I picked up at the show as you know I breed mice on a very small scale. I've had pretty good success breeding mice. And I saw these ASF rats, which are great for breeding for colubrids or ball pythons. I'm doing it for colubrids. They say these don't smell like mice and they like to breed a lot, but they can bite a lot more if you have a line that is known to bite. So I'm not gonna be handling these guys much, but, so I'm not gonna really be handling these. The only time I need to get in is to get the babies or when I'm doing cleaning. So if they're nippy, I'll use heavy duty gloves. It's not a problem, but I just wanted to try these out. I'll definitely let you guys know how they work out for me compared to regular mice. So when I check YouTube, everything is basically talking about ball pythons when you're talking about these ASF rats. So I'm gonna be letting you guys know how this works out for me with my colubrids, how the breeding goes. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I'm gonna put these guys away. I got a couple more things to show you. So now this is a female, she's pregnant. This is a fancy mouse. She's pregnant, so hopefully she'll have some babies soon and then I can start a new colony. You know, I have a couple of mice that I'm breeding, regular white mice, and you know, it's time to put some fresh blood into the mix. 
definitely need to breed some mice because these rodent prices are getting a little out of hand. So over the past couple of years, the cost to order rodents frozen online have gone up a lot. So it definitely helps if you can breed mice, even on a small scale, it helps to do it. Definitely lower the cost, so highly recommend you try it out. All right, guys, I had a great time at the show. I'll be posting multiple parts of the walkthrough video, probably three parts. It was a pretty big show, so I'm gonna break up the videos into separate segments, so it's not one long, long video. I know you guys don't have too much time to watch a long video, so I'm gonna break it up into parts. I have a lot of great things to show. I'm gonna get this baby orchid situated. I'm beefing up the rodent breeding, so things are really looking good. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Now I'm just gonna relax. It was a long, long trip. Actually, it wasn't that long, but for me, three and a half hours driving is a long trip. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <coughs> I might have to start. <laughs> it's dedicated to ball pythons when you're talking about the AF, AF, ASF. These are regular mice, right? Just colored or? Huh? Just regular mice, right? Yeah. Okay. Just different color faces. Gotcha. Uh, medium size, man. So they don't get like this size? No, that's it. Oh, that would be full grown? And this is a female. But you could keep these in a regular bin or do they bite out of them normally? No, this is gonna keep them. But this are cages special for mice and rats. They're great, great breeders. They have a lot of baby. Uh, they like to play with the food. Play with the food? They eat and just chew, chew and put it in the corner. Oh, uh, okay. Little sucker, yeah, it's like, I'm a little So I put a piece of wood or something heavy so they can chew on it. Puerto Ricans don't like They do very well, very easy, and they don't smell. Oh, okay, they don't smell they that bad? They smell, and the inside the water is less.